Switzerland's Crown Saussure Golf Club is one of the oldest courses on mainland Europe. Built in 1906, it's nestled in the beautiful alpine town of Crown Montana and includes some of the most spectacular holes in the world. It's been staging tournament golf since 1939 and is the long established home of this week's event, the European Masters. After six feet of snow for half the year, the ski slopes magically transform to a championship golf course in the summer months. You're watching a movie and, and you're in it, and it just looks like the, these mountains are not real. It's, it's like, uh, like a picture and you're just walking around looking at these snow-capped mountains. It's just fantastic. It tops the list. As a golf course, it's, you know, it's different to anything we play all year. You know, we're at altitude, so we, we all feel like John Daly this week. You know, we all feel like we're hitting it miles. And I think, you know, it, it is a week that I really look forward to, and it's, it's a different type of golf, different test. You have to take into account, obviously, the golf ball flying maybe 10% further, but then obviously from morning to afternoon, um, there might be a slight adjustment again, so it might be slightly less with the cooler conditions. But it's, um, yeah, look, it's amazing. The views are incredible. Uh, obviously, we don't get this kind of scenery every week, so it's lovely to come up here and uh, obviously experience golf um, at this level. They're keen to keep making it better, and uh, I like that. The, the people of this town are, are really into the golf. You, you're walking around the town, you'll see people wandering down the main street with a, a caddy car and their clubs behind them, and you know that sort of attitude is why they keep putting their money into this golf course and keep trying to improve it. And uh, you know the changes are so far, as I said, are, are very good. The list of winners here is a roll call of the European Tour's most decorated players and includes the late, great Seve Ballesteros and a whole host of other recognisable faces as well. The town is adorned with golf murals, posters of famous players and plaques honouring previous victories. Seve loved the course so much he became an integral part of the advisory panel on alterations. The course used for the European Masters is even named after the great man. Probably Seve's biggest legacy at this venue, graced by so many legends, is his design of the 13th hole. His plan to lower the green by nine metres to incorporate a spectacular natural amphitheatre and an amazing view from the tee was completed in 2013 and makes quite an impact. I think it wasn't a very good uh, par three in the pin before. You could, it was kind of a blind tee shot with an elevated green. Uh, you never saw the ball landing or finish. So I think that's, that's with the lake and being a little shorter and being able to, to see the green now is going to make a big difference. The seventh hole, meanwhile, is a contender for the most beautiful hole in golf. Instead of thinking about yardages and clubs, most golfers get preoccupied with having their pitcher taken. One of the greatest views on a hole in the world, uh, no doubt about it. Well, it's it's not a bad office, uh, that's for sure. It's um, definitely one of the most iconic uh, holes we play all year on tour. It's fun. It's pretty awesome. Uh, I mean, the first thing you've got to do is try, try and take your eyes off the mountains and look at the golf hole. But um, I think a lot of people will be stopping and taking pictures of, pictures on here. I'll send them back home to me dad, who always wants to come, and he'll be jealous. But no, it's a great golf hole. This, the seventh hole here at uh, Crowns Montana is just a, a beautiful hole. You sort of work your way through the pine trees and uh, by the time you get to the top of the hill at the tee and you walk out and you have that as a view, I think it sort of uh, puts the day into perspective. So you might as well just enjoy it while you're here because it's so unique. It's just a magic week. Um, not much has changed as far as the uh, the conditions. The conditions are amazing. Always, always are here. And uh, yeah, it's a full credit to the greenkeeper. Obviously, it, um, you know, obviously the growing conditions are not far out of winter here. So uh, to get the golf course prepped and in this kind of condition is um, it's a pretty mean feat. And obviously, uh, uh, full credit to the green staff. Difficulty of this golf course is the greens. They're, they all are upturned sources, and they, they do make this golf course very, uh, very awkward. You can, you can really lose patience on the course very easily uh, you know it is a golf course to test your short game test your patience test your your, your mental fortitude when you get a couple of bad breaks uh, you know so it, it, it's it's certainly gives you opportunities by the fact that they're that these holes are reachable actually there's three par fours in a row here that are drivable but uh, you know it doesn't mean you're going to make three birdies on them Whilst the winter months see the fairways of Crown Montana teeming with skiers, every spring the snow begins to melt to reveal a truly stunning course. <laughs> 